Patrick Pete here, who's tracking what could quickly become a drizzly commute for everybody. Yeah, and this is the first alert for rain that we don't expect to be heavy, overwhelming. We don't expect thunder, lightning, but what we are seeing is the potential for some slippery roads when folks are getting back on the roads after having a good, nice, <laughs> elongated weekend. Uh, so first alert for the rain, there is the potential for a little bit of sleep mixed in there. So we're first alerting that as well. Uh, that's going to linger for the next couple of hours. And then another first alert as we look down the pipeline heading into the weekend, starting very early Saturday morning, we're going to be looking at a potential for a couple of rounds of rain. Some of which could be heavy. Even one community could pick up on some frozen precip. We'll talk about that too. And then a third first alert for your Tuesday as another round of rain looks a bit heavy and also looks like there's some storm potential with that too. So we're giving you that heads up already looking at early next week as we're marching through the middle of this week for another chance for storms. Here's the layout right now and you can see that most of us are dealing with dry conditions. It's cloudy, it's cold, it's dreary. Uh, we are looking to the south right now for the best chance of picking up the rain. Watching uh, LaGrange, Troop County, Meriwether County, Upson County, because you are on the front line of the potential of seeing a little bit of that mix where you're seeing that yellow and especially the red is where we could see a little bit of sleet mixed in with that rain and not enough to do a whole lot of damage. But if you're driving on the roads and you hear a couple of pings of that on your windshield, you will notice it sounds different than regular rain. We'll be watching for that potential moving into the Shiloh area at around 323. So that's about five minutes away, moving into five points just before 330 and Woodland at around 3.30. This is moving very slow, lifting towards the north. You can see why here. What we're looking at are the mid-level temperatures and the surface temperature. Surface is in white, and as you can see, most of those numbers are in the 40s, so above freezing at the surface, but in the mid-levels, you can see that down to the south, we're looking at numbers that are at or below freezing, so we're actually seeing that snow fall out of the sky and melt on the way down. That's how we're getting that sleet, and that potential will exist as we enter the next couple of hours. First alert extended into the seven o'clock hour and then we do expect this to be over pretty quickly. We're going to see things dry out for most of us as we get close to the nine to ten o'clock time frame. Temperatures trending cooler through the overnight expecting to start the day near freezing or below freezing as we head into your Thursday. Lots of sunshine around tomorrow. Going to be a gorgeous day as far as the skies. Temperatures are going to be a little bit below average though. We're going to be dealing with the breezy northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour at times. That's going to usher in cool air struggling to get into the low 50s in the afternoon, but I do think we get there. Feel like temperatures are going to hang out in the mid to upper 40s for the bulk of the afternoon and then Friday is cold starting off at or below freezing again, struggling to get into the mid 40s before lunchtime, but we get a little bit warmer as we head into the afternoon and then we're watching for moisture building in again through the overnight. We mentioned a first alert starting early Saturday morning. That's because more rain will be moving in and check out those temperatures, especially in northeast Georgia. Mid level temperatures are going to be above freezing surface temperatures at freezing. That's going to be the opposite action. That means we could see some freezing rain. So we're watching for the potential for more ice in northeast Georgia, specifically Raven County. As we start off your Saturday morning, first alert for scattered rain moving in as we head through the day on Saturday. Temperature struggling to get into the low 50s will dry out by Sunday and then another first alert on Tuesday as rain and storms look likely with highs in the low 60s. All right.